Oh, yep. Huh? Yeah, they got. They start working on. She on her period. She starting her period. Period. A dog. What did he try? It's a dog. Crazy. Young Thug is best known for his eccentric vocal style and fashion sense and he was actually supposed to be touring before the worldwide pandemic hit. He recently said that he's losing millions because he can't do his shows during quarantine. Despite that money lost, the rapper has come a long way from growing up in the projects of Atlanta. His success allowed him to buy a mega mansion in the elite area of Buckhead that looks like a palace, so in this video we'll see where Young Thug calls home. Jeffrey Lamar Williams, known to us all as Young Thug, is a rapper, singer and songwriter known for being eccentric. Bonjour. Bonjour. What? You know a few words in France? No. What do you want to learn in France? So much. Swiss my beat. Swiss my beat. <laughs> Swiss my beat. BL. Swiss my beat. He first received attention for his collapse with rapper Gucci Mane and Birdman, then moved on to work with artists like Gunna and Lil Baby. Aside from his own singles and mixtapes, he also got some popularity for appearing on the hit song Havana by Camila Cabello, and it ended up being his first number one single on the Billboard charts. Shortly after the release of his debut album last year, Young Thug announced a follow-up album, Punk, to be released in 2020. Like I mentioned, the rapper said that during quarantine he'll be losing what he estimates to be $5 million since he was supposed to be touring. That being said, reports online claim Young Thug's net worth is an estimated 8 million or more as of this year. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where rapper Young Thug calls home like his party mansion in Buckhead, Atlanta, and even his car collection. Although he was born and raised in Atlanta and still lives here, the luxury way he's living now is a far cry from the projects he grew up in. You guys made some requests for this one, so I'm excited to give you all the details on his place. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Blueface and Migos and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Federal agents and police raided the home of Atlanta rapper Young Thug. Channel 2's Mike Pachinik live near Perimeter Mall with the icy reception he and his photographer received from the rapper's family. Mike. Justin, we got a tip about a raid going on at a Sandy Springs home this afternoon. We went to check it out and didn't realize at first it was the rapper's house. Learned about that after we arrived at the scene. We learned that that was happening after U.S. Marshals arrested the rapper from an incident that happened here at Perimeter Mall. Don't come down here, bro. When we arrived at this home on Glen Lake Drive, the folks out front were not happy to see us. We don't really want to. I mean, just try to take it back up here. What they didn't want us to show you is this. Sandy Springs Police and the ATF searching the home of Jeffrey Lamar Williams, also known as rapper Young Thug. Take your phone back. Bro, why you still recording, bro? Do you mind moving? No, yes, no, a few years back in 2016, Young Thug was living in a different Atlanta mansion. From the news clip when the FBI went to the home, we can see the front of the property, and it's different from the other mansion the rappers notoriously showed off in more recent years. Well, we found the listing for this home, but obviously shortly after his whole incident, Young Thug moved out. At the time, he was renting instead of owning, and according to reports, the mansion was costing him about $7,500 per month. The upscale home was located in Sandy Springs, an area in Atlanta, Georgia, and as per the listing, the property was extremely private, taking up a large two-acre lot. Inside Young Thug's previous multi-level mansion spanned 9,987 square feet of living space and had eight beds and 8.5 baths. Some of the design in certain rooms would probably be considered outdated now, for example, the kitchen cabinets and some of the flashy paint colors. I mean, the dining room is bright red and then that weird green in the other seating area. I hope someone changed those since. There's a grand entryway with double height ceilings and multiple common rooms, like a large living room with fireplace, built-in shelves, and TV above. There are actually seven fireplaces throughout the home, as well as other rooms we can see from the photos, like a home gym, movie theater, and even what looks like a massage room. The master bedroom was located on the main floor, which was obviously Young Thug's 
room and came complete with a spacious ensuite bathroom and walk-in closet. The other bedrooms located upstairs were all pretty big too. In addition to all the guest rooms, there was also a special in-law suite or guest house with separate private entrance, bathroom, and kitchen with new stainless steel appliances. The listing also indicated this could be used as a nanny suite and even has its own garage. Apparently, it's a four-car garage at this home in total. On the grounds of Young Thug's previous home, aside from the impressive fountain on the front lawn, the mansion even had its own tennis court. So after all that drama going down here, Young Thug ended up moving on to a bigger, better mansion in Buckhead, which we'll look at now. Apparently, his previous home ended up selling for just under $1 million back in 2018 and has been off the market since. So the cars, that's it. And the, and the house. So the most recent mansion we know of Young Thug living in was in Buckhead, Atlanta. This neighborhood is upscale where the likes of fellow rappers Cardi B and Offset bought their dream home too. Property records state the home sold for over 2.7 million in September 2016 to YSL Enterprises Incorporated, and that was the same month Young Thug's Instagram account announced bought my first house with a pic of the crazy indoor pool in this place. The mansion is described as an entertainer's dream home and I can see why. Young Thug's Buckhead mansion has a light-filled open plan layout designed to accommodate everything from daily life to grand scale entertaining. Inside it spans 11,000 square feet of living space with 7 beds and 11 baths. It was built in 2000 with a major renovation done in 2011 and sits on a lot spanning just under half an acre of land. There are plenty of common spaces and walking and you can already see the large winding staircases and double height ceilings. The luxury vibe of the mansion is complete with huge chandeliers, pillars and floor to ceiling windows throughout. Young Thug's mansion had a large kitchen that flowed into the living area with an oversized island and full bar. From photos we can see that there's more than one kitchen and a few different living and dining rooms to choose from as well. Features of this party mansion include a wine cellar, bar area, home movie theater, and finished basement. There's even a secret hidden room that of course isn't shown on the listing. The main level master bedroom offers an intimate living area, luxury marble his and hers bathrooms, expansive closet and a dressing room, wet bar, as well as a balcony overlooking the crazy indoor pool. Young Thug has shown the indoor pool off on his Instagram and it's a giant marble line atrium with two levels. The indoor pool and hot tub sit in this double height space and it looks more like a resort than something in a single family home. There are decks and patios throughout the mansion and in the backyard more space to entertain even with a large fire pit. His gated estate also comes complete with a four car garage and a surveillance system that's apparently everywhere for ensured privacy and safety. Despite Young Thug living in this dream home for some time, reports say he sold it at a loss recently for under 2 million but I'm not sure where he would have moved to after this place. This is also the same mansion involved in a massive lawsuit in which Thug is accusing a real estate agent of conspiring to sell him the multi-million dollar mansion which is an alleged money pit. Back in 2017, Young Thug was sued by Heritage Select Homes who claimed the rapper didn't make a huge $2.2 million payment on the home that was due. Thug apparently made a few small payments before the huge one. But then Thug countersued Heritage saying they knew the home had some flaws but didn't disclose them like roof problems, leaks and mold in the basement below the pool. Whatever the turnout was with this, word is that the rapper sold the home. I'm not sure what his new home looks like or where he moved to but if you guys have any idea be sure to let me know in the comments. Before we wrap this video up, let's take a look at the fancy car collection Young Thug keeps on his property. Not too long ago, the rapper took to Instagram to show off his fleet of luxury cars. In the frame alone, there were a total of 7 cars, and who's to say those are the only ones he owns? In Young Thug's car collection, we can see expensive models like a white Porsche, drop top Maybach, and other sports cars like what looks like a Ferrari. I also think I see a Rolls Royce. Apparently, Thug also has a Chevy Corvette Stingray Z51 convertible, which is his favorite car. So now we've seen where Young Thug was calling home in Atlanta, and he's clearly had his share of mega mansions. The latest spot was obviously an upgrade from the one he was renting in Sandy Springs, but they were both spacious and upscale. What did you guys think of the rapper's homes? Which one was nicer? Before we end this video, I'll read out a couple comments you guys left me. These are from the recent Blueface house tour we did and Jared Minar wrote, Hi, can you do a house tour of Rapper the Game and keep up the good work and content? Thanks Jared, I'll add that suggestion to my list. And Mariah Ruiz said, Hey Kara, love your content, thanks for making these vids. I'm glad you liked them and thanks for the positive feedback. 
All right, so that's all I got on Young Thug's living situation, the mansions he was living in, like his Buckhead party mansion with that crazy indoor pool. I think that place was gorgeous and looks like the perfect music video set too, but the rapper reportedly sold it, so I wonder what place he's moved on to now. If you guys know, be sure to tell me in the comments. Also, let me know which of Young Thug's home you'd like best or didn't like, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me over on Instagram if you haven't already and you wanna chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.